guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please, please, please subscribe down below. I really, really appreciate it. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a ASOS haul. I did a autumn haul the other day, which was a collective of sort of all different shops that I went into, but I have also been ordering a few bits on ASOS um, over like the last few weeks. So I thought I would do a haul of all of those. Um, so yeah, please hit a thumbs up if this is the kind of video you'd like and let's get in with the video. So first up I have, I did, I ordered a couple of bits, this was a while ago, um, but I haven't got around to wearing this yet. I ordered this like, it really is not doing it justice, this like nudey coloured, um, cut off t-shirt so it's a vest with like a slight really slight shoulder pad in um i got this in a size large at first i kind of wasn't convinced what i thought of it but now i think it is actually quite nice i will try to work out like how i can include photos of it on the models on asos i don't know if i'll be able to do that i'll get my best shot so yeah i bought that that's actually from pull and bear uh, it doesn't say how much it was, but I think it was like 10 or 15 pound. But yeah, I just thought that colour was nice, just to wear with like a blazer or just some mum jeans tucked in. Um, my sister actually bought it as well. She's worn hers, but like I said, I haven't worn mine yet, even though I've had it for probably like a month. Somehow it ended up in the wrong place in the wardrobe, but I found it now. So yeah, I'm going to start wearing that. So that's the first bit I got. In that same order, I ordered these black leggings, um, which I don't know if it was just me and my friends, but years ago, we all had this obsession with the like Zara super thick high-waisted leggings that they had like zips on like at the top or like zips on the bottom and they were like had a seam down the front, but they were basically really, really nice. And I saw these on ASOS, which have got like a super thick waistband it said they were really high waisted so I bought them and in my head they were gonna be the Zara leggings but they're not at all they're really really see-through and they're just like a generic black legging like not very good material so not gonna lie I wasn't too impressed with those so if anyone out there knows the kind of leggings I'm talking about don't try and order them on ASOS I don't know if they still do them in Zara but maybe they do so maybe it's worth having a look so sadly they are going to be going back but i then the other day ordered this really cute like loungewear underwear set which is like this little nude bra and it says essential wear with an a behind it and it's like cream with like some balcony kind of detailing. Um, it's adjustable straps, it's got three little hooks at the back and it's actually the ASOS own brand, it's ASOS design. And then I bought the like high-waisted pants to go with it. So I hope that will look nice. I've tried the bra on, but I haven't tried the pants on yet, but I can't really show it together. But yeah, I think that would be quite cute with like a white shirt and that you can kind of like see the bra underneath um but yeah i've kind of wanted to win these for ages i know lounge underwear i've got one out but i just have never bought stuff from there and don't really know how it'll fit and it's quite expensive so i thought i try it from asos first see how much i wear it and then go from there and then i had a parcel arrive this morning to my mum and dad's house so i got that and i bought a few bits First of all, obviously face coverings are not going anywhere at all, if anything we're going to start wearing them more and more. So I was on ASOS the other day and they had like a 20% um, off must haves or something, you know those sort of like random ASOS deals they had on. And they had these um, face coverings which were called Great British Designer Face Coverings. I was like, oh interesting. Had a little look at them and turns out there's actually a mulberry one a Halpern one and a Rayburn one. I mean, 
I bought it for the mulberry one because I just thought it was quite cool to have a a mulberry face mask. Um, and it comes with like these. I think we're going to see because they're like these like protective pouches that you put them in. And you can wash them in as well. But yes, there's the blue and white patterned Rayburn one. Sorry, the dog's clearly trying to get in this shot. Um, the mulberry. This is like their new pattern. When I bought my last mulberry bag, which was like March kind of time. Um, they had it in this pattern as well. So this is like their new pattern, um, which is really cool. It's like black, gray and nude. And then a Halpern one as well, but it's actually all for charity. It's 100% of the profits will be donated to NHS Charities Together COVID-19 Urgent Appeal, the BFC Foundation Fashion Fund and the Wings of Hope Children's Charity. And it's with um, bags of ethics. So I thought that was quite cool. I think it was £12, I want to say, for the three, which I thought was pretty good. Um, and especially as some of them are, well, they are all like a designer one. So yeah, I got those three and I'm happy with those. Um, I actually haven't opened the next bits I ordered. I got, sorry, the dog's trying to open my package with me. I got this. Oh, it is super soft. It's called a ASOS Design Super Soft Midi. Um, and they're not lying. This is super soft. It is a cream ribbed long sleeved midi dress. I know it's really hard to show these on camera, but I just thought that was really nice. And I mean, I probably should have looked at the prices of all of these before I started the video but I got them all on 15% student discount um, but yeah that was I think it was meant to be 28 or 32 which I don't think is too bad I thought wearing that like teamed up with like some Dr Martens and like a black leather jacket would be really cool or like a teddy bear coat I don't know I just thought it was really nice and I worn the one that I bought in um, Zara a couple of weeks ago a few times I've really liked it both times I have and I love uh, autumn winter dress um, it's just so comfy and easy and that is what I'm all about sorry Nelly is <laughs> interrupting me as always I then also got this ASOS Design Lounge Coord Oversized Deep Rib Collar Sweat with Health and Devotion. So I actually got this in a size 18 because I wanted it to be oversized. And I'd seen it on, Sophia and Chintzia did an ASOS haul. This was quite a while ago to be fair. They did an ASOS haul and Chintzia bought it and it was just really cool. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. And then just hadn't got around to it and then saw it again and was like, oh, that's that jumper I wanted. So. Like I said, I haven't tried any of this on, so I hope it does look nice. But it's this hood jumper. I mean, that looks huge. I mean, it can cover like the whole dog with it. But the thing, the logo basically says Health Devotion Association, and then says HDA here, and HDA are actually my initials. So yeah, I just thought that was quite cool with like some mum jeans and maybe like some Air Force or some Veja trainers. And again, that was quite cheap. I think this was like 24, but like I said, I got student discount and all these bits. So I got that, which I'm really excited to wear. Um, I will try and work out how to insert photos. Um, and then finally, I got some ASOS Design Coord Oversized Jogger in Coco. So, I haven't tried mine on yet, but my sister also bought, Nelly, please, stop, stop it. My sister also bought these, but in the nude colour, and I bought mine in 12, she bought hers in 10, she said she kind of wishes that she'd got an 8 instead, so I don't know whether I should have maybe sized down, because they're oversized, but she also doesn't like the colour of hers, but I've basically got these like chocolate brown joggers oh no they look like they'll be all right they are like 
like a 90s kind of oversized style but I previously had a pair like this from Topshop a few years ago I actually think they were called the 90s oversized jogger um, but they're just way too big for me now and they were like a really nice cream colour but to be fair it was a bit of a nightmare the cream um, so yeah I've gone for this like cocoa colour my friend has them eat these in like an olive green and they look really nice they do have pockets let me show that a little bit better they've got pockets it's a proper drawstring waist um, and these were £20 or maybe even £18 um, and they've got a cuffed bottom so like I could roll them up a bit if they're a bit long but I don't imagine they're going to be too long but we'll have to wait and see but yeah that's all I got it wasn't anything crazy at all <laughs> but yeah I just thought I'd do a bit of a ASOS haul um, as my last haul I got quite a few comments on it so I thought yeah I'd do another one I quite enjoy doing hauls I do spend a lot of time on ASOS new in I feel like I literally check it every day um, and love trying out new bits so yeah if you've enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below I do really really appreciate it and let me know any other videos that you'd like to see and um, I will see you guys soon thanks for watching bye